Oh. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. Oh my god, we're a vlogger. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. Oh my god. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just checking out the facility. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy oh, this guy's a here. troublemaker. Oh, I love big it. Big guy with the mustache? <laughs> kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. Oh, we got our first little choice here. Yeah, let's blame the security guard. I tried guard. showing him my ID, but he said it wasn't necessary. And then he told me to walk right in. I mean... I get that I look like I belong here, but the guy's clearly not cut out for the job. If it were up to me, I'd fire him. Thanks for your input. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information oh my on God. this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. In case you become a WWE superstar. I become a WWE superstar. The last My Rise is like a guaranteed thing. This time it's like, oh no. Filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Freaking talk. This dude's terrible with filming too. He's got like a freaking like angle on the camera too, might I add. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. Apologies, that was super jarring for me as well. But we are here with the men's side of my rise. It sounds like our dude's going to be a little bit more edgy, and I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like the MMA background for this guy. He just has that, like, edginess to him, I think. I think that'll make him stand out and all that stuff. So, I, we're going to go with the MMA background. I don't know if we're going to go full-out bad guy or full-out good guy yet, or even kind of switch a little bit, you know, to keep things fresh. But here we are. Also, this is our first series that we are starting out with, with the uh, new Xbox, so that's exciting. All right. Okay, light heavyweight, heavyweight, super heavyweight. Yeah, a high-flying super heavyweight. Oh my god, that would be fantastic. Okay, I think we'll give him light heavyweight. And then with MMA and stuff, I think it's only fitting that we go with like more of a striker or a technician. Our girl was the technician, so I think let's go striker. I'm trying to figure out like different pathways and stuff for our people to go through and kind of go from there. And so we are going to go off screen and design this guy. And we're going to be back in just a second here. All right, so here we go. We've got... Ethan Quinn, our MMA fighter striker extraordinaire from Denver, Colorado, about to join us here. Look at how cool the gear looks. I really like how this is turning out so far. We're only like an episode into this mess. So, again, we're going a different way, right? You know, going a different pathway. That's how we roll here. So let's accept and let's see what happens. You're about to say, remember that you can adjust the rest of your appearance throughout my rise. You cannot edit your body type once you move past this point. Would you like to continue? He is a light heavyweight, by the way. He is 6'1 or 6'2, one of the two. And he is uh, 236 pounds, I believe is what the thing said. So let's go. Let's, let's start Ethan's journey. Here we go. Look at our dude. Look at our dude. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. It does. Design work <laughs> is hard. Worse. So now what? Should I go wait what at the front desk with Girlfriend, we had start? some cool gear front made desk. and everything. What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, of course. That Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You oh know my what? god. It's nice to meet you in person, finally. This guy has that bad changed. dude Men mentality. The, gym. the other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got oh it. my god. Thanks. Dude! Did you not do, like, a quick Google search before you started? All right, wow. Okay, no cutscenes, just going into it. So we have Hector Flores 
Paragon J. Pierce. Then we have some new notifications. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the notifications. We have upgrade attributes. So we're starting way at the bottom at 76, but we can reallocate things. Obviously, we're a striker. I would like to think we're going to get some points there. <laughs> Let's get a couple for grappling, uh, a few for submission, a few for defense, and then a few for resilience. Although, I don't think we need that many for striking right away. You know, at least get that one up there a little bit. Uh, and then let's get some more resilience, more defense, more submission, a little bit of running, grappling. Alright, uh, I think... Let's go ahead and get one more for resilience. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. We're at, 80, we're at 86 now. Oh god. Okay. Social media, let's take a look-see here. Oh, wow, this is fantastic. Just had an all-brand meeting with the GMs from NXT smacked on a world that our universe is in for some exciting stuff. Hashtag for the fans. As head recruiter at the PC, I'm always looking for new talent, including anyone who is interested in a lucrative career in security. Hit me up. I might have a gig. Question for my fellow WWE fans. Best era? Never compromise, even when others claim they are worthy of your time. They're not. <laughs> Five new baby lambs on the farm. Looking forward to having you as a part of the WWE family. I emailed you over instructions for your first day. Oh. We were late on the first day. We were absolutely late on the first day. We're off to a great start, aren't we now? Oh god. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the notifications. And then... Let's go talk with Hector first. Hi, Hector. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the <laughs> We're like towering over this dude. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. Oh, it's fine. I chose I MMA when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. <laughs> so eventually, I got into MMA. I like this dude already. <laughs> he just so wasn't. He, his thing's just MMA gonna be to just wrestling. beat up people and leave. I love it. Oh God. I love fighting, but I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Burned so out after a couple times out. a year. So I started training for this a few months back, oh, and WWE God. took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. We just said we wanted a challenge, hard Hector. Or harder we literally just said that. WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything the WWE superstars do. Inside and outside the ring. Look at I this dude. He's thing, like just uh, consistency, sir. Consistency. But good luck. We're, we're gonna try. Oh, okay, I guess we got a new, uh, angle. Okay, this is a choice. Paragon J. Pierce. Hey, who are you? So, apparently somebody found out, or, you know, people were talking about how this Paragon J. Pierce dude, I guess L.A. Knight voiced him, like, did the voiceover, and now I can't unhear it after I found that out. <laughs> it's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE oh, signed yeah, that since definitely AJ sounds Styles. Like a... that, uh, that bigger what? Actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy training and fighting in MMA at the highest level in the world. So you're an MMA fighter, huh? Man, you oh, guys snap. are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's going to be easy. No. But you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm going to take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever MMA promotion you were cut from. It was Raw Underground. They closed down. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit, I have a lot to learn. But I'm not going to be intimidated by someone just because they have more experience than I do. Okay, I like this dude already. Whatever you want. 
but I won't give up. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out about that soon enough. Good luck, rookie. More like he's trying to steal our look. All right, Chase. He kind of looks like Jungle Boy. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Oh, how wonderful. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from the another sport The depth is great. Too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Oh, there you go. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. <gasps> I was actually a mascot named Ribby. No! No way! Player, okay, I like this dude. Oh, Chase is my okay. favorite out of everyone well, that we've that come across so far. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows. <gasps> oh my god! Time, Hang on here, that was a part of the last like career Jerry mode in 2K20. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Oh my god. People, we've gotten a mystery solved already. We're only into episode one. I love this. We've got continuity in the first episode. Help get your foot in the door. You wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. This is true. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? What are we signing? What's the rush? You think I won't be here long? Oh, no, it's not like that. I mean, yeah, maybe. Oh, but it'd be Jesus. because you were going back to MMA, not because you couldn't cut it here or anything. I don't do autographs for mascots. Sorry. Oh. Well, I mean, the way that he asked it, you know, it was a little not so great. Wait, what is this dude's name? Okay, we have Rick Albright, MMA. Approach your WWE training the same way you did MMA and you'll be a huge success. Be the aggressor and call out the biggest name in the room to show them you mean business. Thanks, coach, but don't know if that's how things work around here. Might be smart to keep my head down and get a feel for things before I make any big moves. More of a counter-attack approach. I'm not really your coach anymore, so it's your call on how to handle yourself. Good luck. Well, like, is it, shouldn't there be, like, an in-between option for this because it's, like, you're going to earn everybody's respect or no one's respect? Can there be, like, somewhere in the middle? I feel like there should be, like, a compromising option. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> everybody was kind of rude to us, to be completely honest. So, I mean, we've got a lot to prove. Everybody's like, yeah, you're going to leave in, like, one day and not hang out here. I've always respected your opinion, but I'm the outsider here. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and earn everyone's respect the hard way. The outsider MMA fighter. I kind of like this little character we've got going on. All right, here we go. Training time. I'd like time. to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. <laughs> Okay, Jungle Boy 2.0. Awesome. <laughs> we'll do the talking. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't look like I him. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. <laughs> Chase, what Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky... Who's in the sky? Watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stanford. Oh my God! That is, oh PC wait, it's all connected. have input, but ultimately he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here, so you can showcase. This is so intense! Oh my God! <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Tell him, Rodog. Okay. Now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one on one matches to see where everyone's at. I don't know all where we're right. at. New guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Well, I don't even know what my finisher is, to be completely honest. <laughs> I think I said it as like a German suplex or something, but we'll figure it out. 
Okay, well, who got on my last nerves the most? Okay, uh, all of them did at some point. So we're just gonna go and do a random one. Let's go after Chase. He's trying to get our autograph first. Okay, let's get started. He was trying to get an autograph and, like, basically imply that we weren't gonna last long. Okay, here we go. We're just, like, towering over everybody. I love that for us. Oh, here we go. Don't y'all worry. We have, like, an actual, like... We have a controller that works. So we can actually do more things right away. Ooh! Ouch. Send this guy to freaking NXT already. I'm here for it. See what I mean? I just want to kick people. <laughs> I kind of got the motivation, like, because I've been doing the, you know, heal stuff on the female division side of things, like, on another save file, because there's like 10 different saves that you can have on your console and everything. I wanted to see what the, like, heal stuff was all about, and I'm just, like, making people tap out very quickly, and I'm kind of here for it. And I'm like, what if we just translated something similar, we just beat the crap out of people and leave <laughs> in, in the dude side of things? But yeah, this dude's got the advantage because he's, you know, much more athletic. So he's, you know, pretty adaptive and adaptable. I think that's the right wording we're looking for. Adaptable. I mean, he just kicks people a lot and I'm kind of here for that energy. Like, this is a dude that could legitimately, like, beat the poop out of somebody. I kind of brought back some inspo from when we also covered, like, 2K19 with our uh, Matt Townsend character, so the likeness is very close, but, like, you know, it's still some differences and stuff like that. He was much more of a indie wrestler sort of focus, or a version of Buzz and everything like that, but, you know, it happens, right? Right. Nope. But I figured, you know what, let's have an MMA fighter. That could get interesting. I was going back and forth between this one and the pro athlete one. So I landed on MMA because I'm like, I just want to like beat the crap out of people and leave. <laughs> oh, I think we got... The, I saw the red flash. Yep. Oh, man. I'm getting better at the controls too, and I think that's partially because we had to go- we went through Showcase not too long ago, finally. I don't remember what my freaking signature was. Crap. What was my signature? Okay, the German suplex ripcord. That was the freaking move. That's what we were looking for. I'm kind of liking our dude's moveset as it is so far. I might tweak it a little bit to kind of be better fit for us, but we'll have to figure it out. German suplex! <laughs> Obviously we'll fine tune the finisher and the signature, but I like what we have so far. If it ain't broke, don't necessarily fix it, right? Right. I mean, look at, the, look at that dude's face. He's like, that's right, come mess with me, bro. Alignment change. The decisions you made during the storyline have changed your alignment. Fantastic. Okay, wait, I want to see the stories. I haven't seen the stories yet. Battle of DX. The early bird gets the hardcore match. Lucha Libre style. Then there's all these different options, which I'm kind of here for. Oh my god, the titles. <laughs> Look at how many titles we can go for. Holy poop, I'm here for this. Okay, so Seth has the WWE Championship. That's probably the storyline that we saw in the trailer. Champ has got the US Championship. I feel like we saw that on a trailer somewhere. We have Roman Reigns as the Universal Champion. Total shock right there. Biggie is the Intercontinental Champ. Okay. We got Finn 
that has the NXT Championship, and we have Damien Priest as North American Champion. So that's quite pleasant to see. I don't know what's going to happen with Chase, but I want to see what happens with Chase. Hey, good match out there. I think I almost had you. Thanks, Chase. You fought hard. There's no shame in losing. This is true. I guess I just don't want to be seen as the weak link in our training class, you know? Like the guy that no one really expects to succeed. Or the one you want to face whenever you need an easy win. I mean, there's no shame in being an You've enhancement only been here a talent. Week, right? I don't think anyone thinks that. Not yet, at least. Everybody's got to hey, start somewhere. Keep your head up. You can do this. I'll try. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, Chase. You're welcome, Ribby. I mean, Chase. <laughs> okay, Bear God, Jay Pierce. Oh, God. Wow! Big win over the mascot! Really impressive. I bet Triple H is talking to still... all the GMs right now about the new guy at the PC who had the courage to face the weakest opponent here. Oh, my God. Just because I wrestled Chase today doesn't mean I'm scared to face Hector, you, or anyone else. I, this dude's already getting it. He's he's already getting like much. He's already smart about this whole I'll journey. I'll believe it when I see it. And so far, you haven't shown me anything. I'll give you a German suplex yeah. too while we're at well, it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have the chance to face each other real soon. As long as you don't keep dodging real competition. Oh no, you're you're next, buddy. <laughs> you're next, dude. Alright, we got notifications. Let's see. Social media. Headed back to my old stop and grounds to speak for training. Let's see if there are any of these rookies can hang with the goddess. Okay, hang on. Hang on here. Time out. Okay, do we have any stories? Oh, God. I'll hang with you. <laughs> oh, my God. What are we doing? Okay, I need a partner to take her on in a mixed tag. I'll do it. If you need a tag team name, how about the Beauty and the Beast? Oh my god. This dude. Mixed emotions. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, here we go. Finally beat up Paragon J. Pierce, which is actually, act it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good name. We'll go with it. Has somebody created him in Community Creations yet? Because I'm kind of here for that, to be honest. But we have some stories to go for soon, which I'm really excited about. I'm here for the stories, and my stories, in WB2K22. Dude, I've had a lot of fun just playing this game so far, I'm not gonna lie. Nope. Nope, the secret to a tag match in any capacity is to make them tap out as soon as possible. And that's exactly what we're gonna try to do here. I think. Well, at least that was what we were gonna try to do. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got this. Make him tap out. Oh my god. God dang it. Okay. This man's getting a German suplex for his... You know. For his troubles. Okay, I see what you're doing, my dude. Nope. I want to get my hands on him and get him into a solid German suplex. This man deserves a German, okay? He needs a German suplex. I, that's my mission at this point. <laughs> I think our finisher, from what I was able to gather, was a sharpshooter, so that's a thing. We're going to be adjusting a lot of this stuff, like, off-screen, but yeah. So far, I'm digging the moveset, like... Even before we adjust anything, it's just going to be a matter of just looking at everything and fine-tuning these things. What is this man going on about?
that with the springboards? I don't where where did this come from? There we go, just kick him right in the face. Perfect. I like our dude here so far. <laughs> He's just like beating the crap out of people. I love it. <laughs> German suplex for your troubles. Perfect. Love that for us. Okay, go for the cover now. Honestly, if you want to win any sort of tag team match- Oh shoot! Oh, we got Asuka! Great start. We are off to an absolutely great start. <laughs> New notifications. <laughs> my bad. Chase the rib. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Okay, so story progress. Okay, cool. We have more of these. Perfect. We have more of these that popped up on the social media feed and that sort of thing. So let's let's see here. What's the optional extra credit assignment? What is it? It involves picking up dry cleaning or washing your car, not interest. What? I want you to study WWE Legends match. You can learn a lot just by watching the grades. This is true. Who do you have in mind? That's up to you, but whoever you choose, just don't just watch their matches. I want you to visualize facing them in the ring and what it would take to compete on their level. Let me know who you would pick. Ooh, okay. Do we pick Hogan? Do we pick Macho Man? Do we pick Bret Hart? I'm just going to close my eyes and just, you know, pick whoever we end up landing on. Macho Man. Yes. He can learn a little bit about charisma from the Macho Man. You know? Legends of the Pinfall. Ooh, western shirt male and female. Okay. Love that top for us. Legends of the Pinfall. Ooh, okay, we're at the SummerSlam Arena. From 1998, or 1988. Oh my god. Well, look at how cool our dude looks. He's scheduled for making his way to the ring. Okay, the entrance Denver, isn't nearly Colorado, as bad as I thought it was going to be. At Look at how cool Ethan he looks. Quinn. Ethan Obviously, Quinn. He's in amazing condition and can handle a fight. But will the no off-season 52-week fighting schedule of WWE play a factor? He can hurt you so many ways, but he has large boots to fill given the legacy of MMA fighters in WWE. I like hearing the commentary and stuff. I love how we stepped over the top rope and we're like only 6'1", 6'2", something like that. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but I mean, look at our dude. He's looking quite sharp and spiffy here at the SummerSlam 88 arena. I don't know why I was thinking 98. Oh, one of my favorite superstars. Look at the Macho Man. That was beautiful. Can we get cool pyro? Because it's like, okay. I was I was anticipating some pyro. See, we went with Macho Man, not just because we were blindly picking people, but also because our dude could learn a thing or two about charisma from the Macho Man, you know, to up up his, you know, mic game and stuff. What is going on on commentary? You couldn't be any more embarrassing, Saxton. You even outdid yourself. Oh my goodness. What is even happening? Also, if you hear noise in the background, that's the ice maker in the freezer. So just, just you know, a heads up there. All right, we got Macho Man Randy Savage. Figured it's Macho Man. He deserves a full entrance as well. This has been a wild Joe first episode. I, I want more of this. What was that he said recently backstage, Corey? Something along the oh. lines of too hot to handle, too cold to hold. 
I don't understand the idiom, but I think it has something to do with the Kingdom of Madness. I'm hip, Corey. The Kingdom of Madness. It's all right. We're we're trying. We we like a nice submission hold. We really do. I, we're gonna go a similar path to where we were last time. I think we're gonna go with that XT, and then we're gonna try for Monday Night Raw, and then to SmackDown, just because I feel like the chronology would make a lot of sense. I like our dude's move set. What do you think about it, guys? Oh, okay, sorry, I'm spamming these knee strikes, but total accident there. At least we're not spamming the Snapmare Takedown of Doom again. We're just beating the crap out of everybody, and I'm here for it, to be honest. I've been playing a lot of matches off-screen, too, so I've been, like, learning the controls and that sort of thing. We'll also be tackling universe mode soon as well, so just stay tuned for that. I wanted to get this started because I have a lot of things going on this week. And so I wanted to make sure that we had this kind of going on at the same time as we were wrapping up my GM and that sort of thing. So just to give just to give you some insight there. At least we have more of a clear backstory with our dude here. Versus our, you know, Christina Bennett character, who was apparently in reality yes, television and everything. Oh, shoot. Dude, there's not much I'm going to be changing with this dude's moveset, because I'm having fun with it. Really showing now. Here's a combo of strikes. Right Sorry. <laughs> Come on, we need a German suplex. German suplex. Perfect. But that's not all. Go for the cover, go for the cover, go for the cover. Oh, we got two finishers. How fantastic. Perfect. German suplex. Alrighty. <laughs> not even, like, not that much energy right there. Ethan Quinn. <laughs> But I will say, the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. See, the thing is that, like, we can build upon what we learn in, like, the Performance Center and NXT. We can create the entrance and, you know, up up our game as we speak. But at least we got a good start on the wardrobe and the gear. Because I really like it. I really do. Just letting you know, my homework assignment went well. I won my match. <laughs> I would hope you wouldn't lose a match in your own imagination, but nonetheless, let's tack on some extra credit, some extra extra credit, and up the difficulty level with another hypothetical match. Two of the biggest stars uh, uh, in a handicap match. What? Oh, we got another match? Okay. Oh god, we're taking on The Rock and Stone Cold? Are we allowed to lose? Okay, just complete the match. Okay. We are essentially screwed. I think, maybe. I don't know. I don't know! Oh. Oh, that I didn't know that that was going to be a thing. Good to know that that was a thing. I'm not going to be changing much in this dude's move set. I like the move set. And apologies if this is a longer episode. But I think it, you know, we've we've earned a longer episode, I think, right? You know, because it's the first episode of a new series. Oh, we, we went a good little bit before we got to a snap bear takedown. Fantastic. Love that for us. Can we just lose? I don't know. Like there's no way we're gonna beat the rock and stone cold, right? Learning from legends. There we go. That could be our little, like, journey. Almost. Come on, German suplex! 
perfect. And the match continues. That's teamwork. A well-timed dodge. Wow. I don't know what we were going for, to be honest. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, you know, wait, we were going to try to get Stone Cold off the top, or off the rope, rather. If Stone Cold, yep, okay, we're screwed. We are absolutely screwed, dudes. We are screwed beyond belief because it's Stone Cold. It's Stone Cold. I don't know how we're going to win now. I mean, we kicked at it too, but that's okay. Now I need to stop spamming that move. Okay, well that just happened. Perfect. Love that for us. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that our finisher's the sharpshooter. That's okay. I'm more than fine with losing to The Rock or Stone Cold. We need to humble ourselves a bit, right? Right. That's okay. We will take the L to The Rock. He's like one of the few exceptions to the rule, right? Right. This has been a wild start to this series. Here Holy crap. Winners, the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. They went the extra mile in this win. What a moment. All right, and so we completed the story Legends of the Pinfall. Fantastic. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get your notifications around here. And we also have a community tab now, so that's a thing. So keep your eyeballs posted on the community tab. Apparently, as of October 2021, if you have 500 or more subscribers, you get a community tab. So we have a community tab, so keep your eyeballs peeled there for all the updates on the channel and also on my social media, uh, particularly on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll also get updates and We'll also have some updates on the community tab and try to utilize that. So, in general, we're going to be alternating, I think, between the last couple of episodes of my GM and also with my rise. And then we're going to alternate between my rise and universe mode because some people are into my rise, some people are into universe mode, and we've got requests for both. And so we're going to tackle both, and I'm kind of here for it. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.